The crisis in cosmology that has been developing over the past several years is because increasingly the Big Bang's predictions are being contradicted by better and better data. The Big Bang theory collapsed. What happened to the universe? Famous plasma physicist and astronomer Eric Lerner shocked the scientific world by saying that the Big Bang never happened. The Big Bang theory asserts that our universe was born in a giant explosion 13.8 billion years ago. Thousands of scientific articles, textbooks, books, and popular articles have treated the Big Bang theory as a proven fact. Before we start, please support us by liking and subscribing to our channel. And now, let's get started. Was the Big Bang theory wrong? However, famous plasma physicist and astronomer Eric Lerner shocked the scientific world by saying that the Big Bang never happened. The hypothesis that the universe was expanding after a giant explosion 13.8 billion years ago, he argued, has now been contradicted by countless astronomical evidence accumulated over decades, including recent data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. This data has caused two famous astrophysicists, Adam Frank and Marceo Gleiser, who have so far remained staunch supporters of the Big Bang Theory to admit that there is something fundamentally wrong with this theory. According to scientists, the Big Bang Theory's predictions have been wrong for decades. Wrong about the cosmic microwave background's temperature and smoothness. Wrong about the scale of the largest structures in the universe. Wrong about the abundance of lithium and helium. Wrong about the size, age and brightness of distant galaxies. What new theory replaces the Big Bang? But if the Big Bang never happened, what would have happened in the universe? Is there an alternative history of cosmic evolution that has actually been verified by observations? And what difference does it make what happened in the galaxy billions or trillions of years ago? In fact, an alternative, scientifically validated history of cosmic evolution has been continuing to develop over the past half century beginning with the work of Nobel Prize-winning physicist Hans Alvi and others, his partner. This is a method of quantitatively describing and predicting, before observation, the main phenomena we see in the universe. At the same time, it uses physical processes that scientists observe and study on Earth and in our solar system. Physicist Lerner calls this alternative method plasma, because plasma a gas that conducts electricity is important for understanding the evolution of the universe. In other words, if we want to truly learn about the universe, we must use observations to trace its actual evolution, step by step back in time and outward into space. A research revolution is needed, as ground and space-based telescopes look farther and farther into space. Scientists have discovered larger and larger collections of galaxies than previously calculated. Nearly spherical galaxy clusters are strung like beads on filaments that stretch tens of millions of light years. These filaments are twisted into an increasingly larger system with a radius extending to more than 4 billion light years. Scientists can measure the speed at which galaxies are moving inside this giant structure. Normally, these speeds do not exceed about 1000 km s, which is about 1 300 the speed of light. Simple arithmetic tells scientists that these objects must be about 7000, 8000 billion years old, or about 500 times older than previously hypothesized. The existence of these giant objects is one of the main contradictions to the predictions of the Big Bang hypothesis. Scientists believe that it is time for a revolution in scientific research on the concept of the formation of the universe, because studying the sky can lead to extremely specific and important technological advances on Earth. And that's the end of today's video. How do you feel about the video? Where we come from is still a mysterious question. Please leave your comments below for everyone to discuss. For now, goodbye and see you again.